guys can probably tell this is an install video. The title is pretty self-explanatory, but these are my top five things I hate about the Camaro. Number one, number one thing I hate about the Camaro when I first got it was the exhaust note. It was really quiet, way too quiet for a muscle car in my opinion. My two valve that I had at the time was louder than this car, but with a little tweaking, a little changing of things, it starts to come around. I'm still not at the perfect exhaust note that I want. I'm almost there. I'm, I'm getting really close. I'm getting really, really close. But that was the number one thing. That, that really bothered me when I first got the car. Number two would have to be the shifter knob. Not the shifter itself, but the knob. The throws are okay to me. It, it, you know, it's not the, the, the shortest shifter I've dealt with. They, they make a short shifter. But the, the knob, the knob is really what, what, what bothered me about the car. It, it's really big and kind of clunky and er ergonomics of the, the, of the shifter knob is what I don't like. I can grip it, but I just don't like the feeling of it in my hand. It, 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 it didn't feel good. It didn't feel good. Simple as that. I just don't like the feeling of it. Number three, cup holders. The position of the cup holders. I don't like it. It's right behind the shifter. I'm trying to bang gears and I got a big gulp or a Route 44, Cherry Limeade or something back there. I'm hitting the cup. You know, it's, it's just, it's a crazy weird position to have cup holders there right behind the shifter. That's that. Number four, ride height. And that's the reason I installed ZL1 Springs. I didn't like the ride height. Uh, I felt that it needed to be a little lower, a little more aggressive. ZL1 really has a really aggressive stance. I got the springs on there. It's still not quite where I want it. I'm gonna have to change tires to fully, I think, get the benefit of, of their stance to really get there. So I'm really nitpicking here. That, that reason wasn't a deal breaker for me. It really didn't make much of a difference. And number five, the least thing that I hate would have to be the steering wheel. And like, keep in mind, I'm saying the least thing. Now, when you're at three and nine on the grips, you're doing this. You, you got to do this because of the way the steering wheel is made. And so that's one thing I didn't like. But other than that, not, I mean, not really. It, it really didn't bother. I'm not at three and nine very often. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, I like the fact that that steering wheel uh, in the Camaro was unique because in the upper years, they switched to a steering wheel that looks similar to the ones that's in the cruises and the um, Malibus and stuff like that. So. But, you know, if I, if I had to nitpick and say something, I'll say this to you. But those are my top five things, and I really love this car, I really do. So I'm gonna do the five things I love about this car, but I wanna do the top five things I hate about it. And those aren't major things, you know, those things that can be remedied. That's it, you know, a lot of people say the visibility's bad and all that. Yeah, it's bad if you if you drive a, a Ford Taurus all the time or something like that, you know? In there, yeah, you're not gonna be able to see, but if you're driving a Camaro every day, you get used to it, it's not a big deal. I actually like it. It's a pleasant surprise when I get in another car and there's more visibility. Oh, okay, this is nice. When I get back in my car, this is normal. This is what I'm used to. I have no problem with it. But anyways, thanks for checking out the video. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel, please. It, it, it really helps. Uh, me to see that, you know, if I'm putting out good content, I'm trying to put out more content. So um, thanks for taking a look at this video. See you guys next time.